Hey guys, Mid here at Stonehouse Lavender again. Doing a little work at the barn this weekend. Thought we'd stop and show you guys just a few tips and tricks as far as folding napkins. We get that question a lot. What should we do with dinner napkins? How should we fold them? So if you guys subscribe to our page, you're gonna see a lot of new tips and ideas coming up this week in our weekly episode of Lessons Learned by a Wedding Venue. Okay guys, first we're gonna start with a simple tri-fold option. So all you do is you take your linen, so we have it laid out nice and flat. I'm gonna fold it over so that my seams right here, you can see, will be folded in and they won't be exposed. So we just do a simple tri-fold, fold each side in, and then you put it over the plate. Now some people like to do it like this with a plate over top of it, so you have the place setting. Oops, that's upside down. So you have the place setting, like that, and it hangs over the edge of the table. Some people like that way. Some people like the tri-fold where you actually tuck it under the plate. Gives it a real clean, crisp look. When you set the plates on top, you'll get a nice, sweet, little crisp line. And you guys can see it's very finished looking. Maybe not completely centered, but you get the idea. So there's one option. You can also do it if you wanna change up the vision or the, the view, you can change it up and go horizontal, which works really well when you have a horizontal tablescape going across the table here. So it kind of balances that a little bit. So some people like the vertical, some people like the horizontal. That's a very, very simple way to do it. The next thing we're gonna do is a little sailor's knot here. It's a loose tie. So you're gonna take the linen and you're gonna go corner to corner with the napkin. Then you're gonna take this and fold it back in. Then you're gonna fold this back in again. So what's gonna ultimately happen is we have a nice smooth seam on the outside exposed. We're kind of tucking and hiding all of that. So you're gonna grab a hold of it. You do a nice little wrap. See, now you don't see a lot of folds and edges in there. And then we're gonna tuck this one and just rotate it so that you have a nice loose knot and you have some nice edges. All right, here's another option for you. Sometimes people ask, how do you fold the napkins to make a little pouch for your silverware? So we're gonna show you how this works. You're gonna start with your napkin and you're gonna have your exposed edges. You're gonna fold the finished edges inside together, facing each other, all right? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it into a square. So I'm gonna scoot this out of the way for just a minute so that you can see. We're gonna make a square out of it. You take one corner, so you see we have several layers left here still. We're gonna take one corner and fold it back down here. Give us a nice little press. Then we're gonna flip it over. Now the easy part is we're gonna fold this one third of the way. Then we're gonna fold this one one third back in and we tuck it in to that little pouch piece right there. See how that's tucked in there? Then we're gonna give it a little press to kind of hold it into place. You flip it over and now you have your pouch and you can tuck your silverware right down inside that. So there you go. If we want to put that on the place setting, you guys will see, gives you a sweet little pouch for your silverware. All right, the next one that I'm gonna show you is actually the pocket napkin fold, but this time we have a little sleeve you'll see for the fork, one for the knife, and then if we also wanted to put a spoon in there, we could move those over, and we could also slide a little spoon in as well. So we have the pocket fold with the little tri-folds inside as well. So I'm gonna show you how to do that one really quickly. Again, I'm gonna slide this out of the way. 
We start with the napkin where we're going to do the exposed edges outside. We're going to take it and we're going to fold it into a square once again. So now that we're in a square, we're going to take one fold corner to corner. Then the next one, we're going to fold and tuck inside. So we're, we're creating layers and levels right here. And then the third one, we'll go and we'll talk a little bit further in. So now you see that we have the folded levels. We're gonna flip it over. Then we're gonna take this one, fold it back. So you can see we have several different layers exposed. Then we take the other side and we fold it and we're gonna tuck it down underneath, give it a nice press. To give it a solid press in there and then you guys will see that you have the trifolds we can slide the silverware right into the different pouches and then easily put that on the place setting right there there you go now you have the silverware now you have the silverware pouch with the extra folds inside to add a little creativity to it. There you go, guys. Some simple napkin tips that anybody can do that makes your table setting look fabulous. Follow along. Make sure you subscribe to our page. We're going to be doing a lot more with uh, table settings later this week in our weekly episode of Lessons Learned. So stay tuned.